And if she wasn't willing to sign a prenup, would you marry her? Mm. Hell no. Straight up. No. I and you have these adult conversations, these crucial conversations with your I, fiance. I had an I had an evil, wicked stepmother. And when my father, my father worked his ass off. He worked so much he died of stress. <coughs> he died of stress. So, and my stepmother took everything. She didn't even have any kids with my stepfather. She took everything. And that was a six-year family court fight, my siblings and I, against my stepmother. And she took it all. She and still that, won? She still won? She won. We, we came to a settlement, but she, she left us the scraps of the scraps. Mm, wow. And, and it was just because it was a bad trust. My father left a bad trust. My father loved us to death. My father was a badass. But he fucked up. He did yeah. a legal document and it had loopholes. She mm. found the loopholes and she screwed us like we always knew she would. Mm. So I just, you learn from your mistakes. I learned from that. And I'm like, I'm not going to let that happen to my kids. Mm -hmm. Not because of the money thing. I made my own money. It's not it, only because of money. It's just, it causes so many arguments. It causes so much infighting. Mm -hmm. It caused all siblings to fight amongst each other. Mm -hmm. It caused us to hate our stepmother even more than we hated her before. I mean, it just caused a mess. Right, mm -hmm. emotional, the emotional stress it, It's just it. a, a lot of stress. Yeah. Did you have one in your prior? Um, no, in my, in my prior, I didn't have one. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was, I was a lot younger. I was, mm -hmm. you know, I married my, not high school sweetheart, we didn't go to high school together, but we lived down the block from each other and we still live next door to each other. Oh. Yeah, we're oh. not like best friends, but, oh, okay. you know, but, mm -hmm. but we're cool, we're cool with each other. Yeah, and you've got two kids with her. And I have two kids with her, and I have and I have uh, a nine-year-old named Julius. He's a badass mm -hmm. um, with my ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And my ex-girlfriend, tell you the truth, is she's I'm I'm in lawsuits with her right now. Really? She's, she's trying to take me out. Like if I was married to her or something, and, and thank God I didn't. Wow. Thank God I never married her, and I knew that I never should, um, because I knew the type of personality she was. Wow. You know, so what still, would your advice be to young men out there who are just kind of getting their thing going? Either let the, the either the government is going to tell you how you're going to separate your assets or you can go to an attorney, pay a few thousand dollars, if that, yeah. and um, and figure out how to divide your assets before you get into it. Yeah. I mean, if there is real love, the woman is going to understand completely. Mm -hmm. If a woman tells you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do a prenup with me, then I would second guess that woman. Yeah, 100%. Well, I, you know, as you know, I was briefly married, okay? And I said, listen, we'll do this. You know, I don't know how this is going to work, but we're doing a freaking prenup. She goes, yeah, 100%. You've got money. I've got nothing. I'm like, all right, sign right here. We got divorced. It didn't work out. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And But if I didn't have that, or at least that legal document to be like, look, babe, you know, who knows what would have happened, all right? I probably wouldn't be hosting this show right now. It's not so, only it's yeah. not only the woman that gets against you. It's it's the lawyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. The lawyers are like, wait a second. I know you don't want much from him, but he has this and this and this and right. this and this yes. and this. So I'm going to ask for all of it. You know who usually wins in the divorce? The lawyers. The lawyers. Yeah. So there you go. You don't want them making money of the government. What's your status on prenups? Did you have one when you married Erica? What about your first marriage? What's your thought process? No. No, when I met Erica, um, I, I had a few things already. But um, I was younger. We don't talk about that in the Hispanic. Not in not, not, not with the you know where my parents didn't talk about that. Yeah. Or, nobody taught us about that. I it's something I learned later on. I would, I mean I would hear them in songs. Yeah. But not like Kanye West. Yeah. We don't, I, I mean we just don't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have uncles. My uncles don't yeah. have prenups, and it's not so because you're saying this is something that never come up in the it conversation. Just it just never got. It just never culture. It just, gotcha. Yeah, it's cultural. It just never. Well, then let me ask you a follow up question yeah. because you built your business with your wife, yeah. Ricky. Okay, so there's a difference between being a successful guy who's marrying a younger yeah, girl, of course, of and course. he has all the assets. And she's got nothing. When you married Erica, you're mm -hmm. like, listen, we got nothing together. Well, I'm we're going to no, build this no, thing together. It, it's not that I didn't have anything because I was doing well. Yeah, but I just didn't. I just this business we built together. That's what I'm saying this business. This yes. business we built together. So yeah, that would be no need for it. But even and then I, I mean, even then though, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about them. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't, gotcha. you know. But I, but I mean, going back to where George is coming from, I totally understand. Like yeah. if I was like, let's say it will not work out with Erica, which babe is gonna work out on trip. <laughs> but if it, did, she's already she's already texting me this she shit. Knows. She's watching. What? Uh, <laughs> I know. Her. So but if but if it was, I a hundred percent would take that, George's, uh, you know. Um, road and say, hey, gotcha. no, like, well, we're gonna... if there's anything like you could appreciate about George is not having the government in the middle of your yeah, affairs. Yeah, a hundred percent, and it makes the, the most sense because he's gonna the government's gonna be the referee, and they're not good referees. Yes. they're not. Yeah, so. um, because but there is a difference between building something together like yes, you've done with your wife versus percent. sort of he's built something. Yes, it's very he's like come on, we're man, in you're different, go along we're in different situations. Same, gotcha. same thing goes for probate. Same thing goes for death. 
All yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So you want to have things written down. You want to have a trust or a will, or you want to have it. You want to have it very clear because if not, the government is going to divide your things as they seem fit to your children or your heirs mm-hmm. or to tax, you know, whichever way it goes. So if you have everything clear and you have everything done, that's the way to do it. Marriage and death. Yeah. You definitely got to have paperwork for that. And one thing I'll say is, I don't know if you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, if you're a Trump guy, Biden, Obama, whatever it is, you don't want the government in your bedroom no, and you your don't. business. It don't Hell matter, it don't matter the, who it is. No. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.